In this video, we're going to use the caption tool to add amazing layers to your Seesaw Journal posts. The caption tool can provide a lot of power to any Seesaw post, no matter what you're actually posting about. The first example I'm going to show you is simply just how to actually add a caption to a photo or a video that you took. In order to do this, we're going to go down to the bottom left where there's the caption button and we can click that and we can add our caption two different ways. Number one would be to just record our voice or number two would be to type it out. Let's type out our caption. After completing the caption, students simply just click off of this and it's going to save itself as a caption. You can see caption added, we're all set to go. Let's click the check to see what this looks like on the journal end. So you can see after this gets submitted, we have our beautiful picture or video showing up in this section and we have our caption down below. This caption allows this picture and this content to have a little bit more substance than simply just being a picture. We can tell a story in how that actually came to be and why that picture is important. Another way we can use captions is to have students tell stories through the captions. We can have a provocative image like this and a great prompt that students get to answer using the caption tool. Let's type up a response to this awesome question. Let's see what our caption looks like by clicking the check. We can see here that we can provide a whole opportunity for students to write as long a story as they want to and still include an awesome header picture so that their content can come to life and their stories can really be told in a super unique way all by using the caption tool. This creates a one-stop shop for amazing works of art and writing pieces that your students can complete. The final example is to use this to share a process or to even just share step-by-step -step directions. For example, we have a picture of a makerspace here. Maybe the students wanted to tell what they worked on that day and how they actually got to the point of 3D printing something. Let's check out what our caption looks like. Just like all of our other examples, we have a powerful, robust journal post. We have the ability for students to put in different numbers. They can mark this up in a way that's gonna make sense and share a process and or steps that they use to actually complete this work. The caption tool allows us to add so much more content to our posts in the journal. I hope that you found some useful ways to actually use this and to extend your learning inside your classroom by simply using the caption tool. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to go to web.seesaw.me lessons to see what we're working on next.